All right, everyone. So Stephen A. Smith gave a pretty big update on the situation with the Bucks and Damian Lillard. We'll let him speak on it himself. So here you go. Here's the clip. Did David you Brooks. see what I said on NBA Countdown yesterday? I said that if Milwaukee loses, I said I think you need to consider moving Dame up out of there. It's he not, just let, got there. Let me explain. I'm not talking about his game. He's not happy there. Now, he's got a lot of distractions, which are his business, mm -hmm. and we wish him nothing but the nothing best. But the best. Nothing but the right. best. Because a lot of us would not be able to handle it as well as he's handling it. But nevertheless, whatever support system that you're looking for, and I'm sure they got love for him and they try to support him or whatever, but it's one of those situations where if you are not happy in a situation, albeit because of outside reasons. Right. He wanted to go to Miami. Do, do, yeah, and I know he wanted to go to Miami, too. Let, 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 let's call it what it is. Let's <laughs> call it what it is. Back. I mean, you got all of that going on. That's a lot to deal with. I'm not talking about his game because I believe in Dane. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm talking about what he has to go through and psychologically how that situation may not be ideal for him. All right, everyone. So there's a lot there. Let's start with we're not going to talk about any of the personal stuff. That's all, you know, that's Damien's to deal with, and it, it's sad, and hopefully it all resolves in a good way. But in terms of the situation in Milwaukee, we know from an interview he gave that, you know, he's kind of lonely there and maybe he doesn't love it. And it's probably just maybe a new thing. Maybe he'll grow to love it as time goes on. But it's certainly the case that so far, when you factor everything in, he's a little more lonely than he would have been where he's, you know, when he was playing in Portland. And so that's something to, you know, keep in mind. But at the same time, I think from the standpoint of the Bucks, and if you're a Bucks fan, you know, this has to be something that there is no overreaction to this season, okay? You cannot overreact to what happened this year. Let's go through just a list of things, right? You start, you fire your coach, okay? You bring in a new coach. That coach takes you to about halfway through the season. He gets fired for Doc Rivers. Does anything not sit right in terms of, like, there's a lot of chaos surrounding this year? On top of that, you've kind of brought in a big-name new player to play next to your star, and got rid of a you know a beloved member of your community, a beloved member of the team, somebody who won a ring with you previously, and Drew Holiday. So these are all things that are going to take time to work out, right? And then Giannis obviously goes down, you know, even though for we don't know how long he'll be out. But the point is, there's a lot of things that happened this year that did not go in the Bucks' favor. And just because this year didn't work out doesn't mean that this experiment between you know Will Giannis and Dame work is over. I don't think that that's the case. And I love to hear, you know, they keep bringing up, he wanted to be in Miami. He wanted to be in Miami. I'm sorry. There is no question, okay, that playing for the Bucks with Giannis and Chris Middleton and Brooke Lopez and Bobby Portis is a better on-the-court basketball option for Damian Lillard. I'm sorry. It just is. And you could say a lot of things about heat culture and you could talk about how you know, they've kind of, they've certainly have, you know, punched above their weight in many seasons, right? Many, every year they're almost always counted out and they seem to just find a way to win games, right? But the Bucks situation is perfect for him because it's not that he's not the best player on the team because, you know, Giannis is obviously better, but Giannis is just such a force, right? And he demands so much attention that with Damian Lillard being out there, he's able to get a lot easier looks. They can't key in on him like they used to. And it may take a little bit of time for the coaching staff to figure this out. Doc just gets there halfway through the year, okay? You can't expect everything to be figured out right away. And so I think, you know, I think they just have to give this time because you have to remember why this all came about. Doc River or Doc Rivers, Giannis was not happy with the situation, right? He wanted to stay in Milwaukee. He made, he's made that clear. But he's also made clear it's only if this is trending towards a championship, right? Meaning if if this team is serious about winning a championship, I want to be here. If they're not, then I don't want to be here. And bringing in Damian Lillard completely quashed all view of, like, they're not improving this team. Everybody, you know, Giannis, I'm sure he missed you all day, but he was like, man, Damian Lillard is the guy we needed here. And so you're going to have to give it another year. I mean, you think about the Eastern Conference as it breaks down, you know, because they probably, if Giannis doesn't go down and get hurt, you would you would guess that they would have ended up getting that two seed, right, over the Knicks. 
not that it necessarily matters anyways, but you would have guessed that they would have ended up getting that two seed because the Bucks ended up losing, you know, the, the last two games. You know, he gets hurt against the Celtics. Um, you know, they ended up winning those last two games anyways. Or did he get hurt against the Magic? Either way, they lost two, right? Back to back. They lost two. And, you know, so that's a that's a big deal. And so they might have ended up with that two seed otherwise, but they didn't. So just, uh, you know, my thing would be give it some time. Give it another year at least. You know, even if Damian Lillard's like, man, I'm not happy here, try it out for one more season. It doesn't, it won't kill you to try it out one more year because you got, you're in the spot you need to be. You're on the best team you've been on in your career by far, right? I mean, I know some of those Portland teams were good with LaMarcus Aldridge and, you know, in company, but the bottom line is that he he's never played with somebody like Giannis, right? And even this year, you know, if Giannis can get back and healthy, the sky's the limit for this team. But, you know, if they, if, I, if they, if, you know, Dame kind of wants out when he wants to go to Miami or they trade him elsewhere, man, that's going to be, that, that may put the final, you know, blow to Damian Lillard's chances of ever winning a title in the NBA because it's just too much movement. It's too much chaos, right? Chaos does not lead to championships. Stability in good organizations do. And so what they need to do is they need to, do the best they can for the rest of the season. And if Doc Rivers, you know, he's going to want to stay on, so you keep him on for another year, and you make your run going forward. You can't. You can't. You can't overreact. And even with Giannis's injury, like we said, look, you can't rush Giannis back. If Giannis gets hurt for the extent of next season, right, if Giannis came back and he got hurt again because he was trying to force it, forget it. If Giannis is out next year, you could kiss that season away for the Bucks, and then you're going to have real problems here in Milwaukee. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Let us know what you think in the comments section below.